Hi, in this short video, I would like to present you a new feature uh, of uh, my IDA plugin IFL. And um, first of all, for those of you who don't know, uh, IFL is a plugin uh, written in Python uh, for IDA Pro uh, that allows you to uh, have, provides just some extended um, view of the function and make browsing of them a bit easier. Uh, and in addition to this, it also um, allows to load into IDA uh, some outputs of my other tools, such as uh, PEC, Tiny Tracer, or PBAR. And uh, today um, it will be about one of those features. So, um, how can we integrate? Uh, the imports dumped uh, by PC into IDA database. And uh, in usual cases, uh, you can reconstruct import table uh, by PEC. And there are various modes of reconstruction and, well, you can find the one that fits you best. Um, but still, there are some cases in which it's not possible to, import, to reconstruct the imports table. And for example, in case if full PE header uh, was erased uh, in memory and just malware runs um, without any header, it still have imports loaded and still PEC can detect those imports and can list them, but it cannot into, uh, reconstruct the import table because it would have to uh, reconstruct the full PE header for this and some in, in the cases in which it is fully um, erased, it cannot do this, at least for now it's not doing this. So it just dumps this list of import, uh, imports. And uh, today I will show you this type of a sample. And um, by loading those dumped imports into IDA, we can still have a very um, pretty complete view. Like we can analyze it statically almost like we would analyze Mm -hmm. um, a normal PE because all the imports will be loaded and listed in, in the memory. But there are just few steps that we have to make in order to, to do this. So uh, I have here a sample of hidden B. Uh, and what the sample does is just loads the payload in the memory. And this payload is in a custom format. So without the PE header, and when it's loaded from the raw format into the virtual format, there is just no header at all. And uh, I already run it via Malanpack. Well, I can later show you how I dumped it. But basically, I ran the sample as an administrator because it needed ne needs to be run as an administrator. Uh, and I gave a, gave it as an input to Malan pack with a short timeout and with shellcode dumping because the PE without headers is just treated as a shellcode. And this is what I've got. So let's let me show you in in a hex editor. You can see that there is no PE header at the beginning first page in memory was fully empty. Then the code starts and we have some data and there are supposed to be imports, but without reconstructing um, P header, uh, we just cannot see them in any tool. And PEC at the same time recognized those imports in the memory and listed them and made this type of block of that shows at what offset what address is filled. So this is an address within the um, imported function pointing to the important function from the module. So by basing on this, we can just load it into IDA. So first I'm gonna open this file in IDA, this is basically like a shellcode, but 
we will load it at the same offset at which it was loaded in memory. Okay. 30 to be. And yes, the, all the functions are loaded, but here, here we can see that those are our imports, but of course, IDA does not recognize them as imports. So now I will use IFL. I will put it aside and load this import table. We select here the format imports txt generated by PC and we navigate to this and we change the default base so we have to set the base at which it was loaded so that it will be able to and yeah you can see our imports are all loaded so now it can be recognized by ida and we can decompile it and analyze it very easily just like if it was a normal pe and by the way ifl helps you to just walk through those functions references like what is it called and what it calls So yeah, we can see that our import table has been added. And although we didn't manage to reconstruct this full P header, but still we can analyze it as if it was a normal PE. And by the way, I can dump it again just to demonstrate how it was dumped. So first of all, this sample requires to be run as an administrator. On this machine, I have Malanpak. Here I have Malanpak in the version without the driver, but to extend its capabilities, you can also install the driver on your VM. Um, but yeah, I, I recommend it to use it on, on a VM only for now. It's not mature yet to use it on real machine. Mm, but yeah, here I have in the plain version. Um, so let me run it once again. I will delete it. Okay, it's open. So Okay, and let's unpack it once again, just to demonstrate how it was done. And yes, it, it got unpacked. No, it failed to unpack. I think it was because the defender grabbed our sample let's do it once okay now we got the output and you can see it's exactly the same thing that I showed earlier. So yeah, this is how you can dump it. And this is how you can load it into IDA. So that's all for today. Thanks.